God bless you. This is 2015. This is the first Sunday in the year. I got a report to make to many of you today. God bless you. Those that sign donations, those that help support this ministry throughout the nation. And I want to say to you, I'm glad for you to come in today. As I begin to pray for a closure and healing for some of the people. As I stand today, I want to talk about the, the violence that happened in Ferguson, the violence that happened in New York, and the violent conflict of violence. Now, we know that uh, we had about 400 killings here in Chicago by Chicago police. We had uh, about 40 killings in Detroit. So the mass murders among us. Now, this is what I'm saying as the grassroots uh, movement coordinator, Dr. King movement to see Abraham. I'm saying that it, the police that got killed in New York, the guy that shot that police, he didn't shoot those men who were shooting the uniform, the dirt that the police department do all across the nation. And they kill black men and shoot them down, throw guns down. Ferguson, the man was shot 10 times. In Milwaukee, the man was shot 14 times. That's overkill. So what I'm saying that no justice, no peace. And it seems like that's no justice for the black man in America. It seems like there's no justice and equality for the black man in America. And I've got to say it from every pulpit that if it ain't no justice, it's not going to be in the peace. And the police officer can say what they want to. They know, if, they know if you're a police officer, there's certain protocols you should go back. And I'm not going to ride in a car with another policeman. I'm a policeman and see him doing dirt to the black community or any community. So my thing is, and when the, when the prosecutor comes back and said not guilty, and you see it on TV where uh, Harold Gardner was choked to death, you see where Michael Brown was shot to death, you see where the little boy in the park in Cleveland was shot and killed over a BB gun, and we are being profiled and we're being killed. And the, the, the police department all over this nation is not looking at trying to weed them out. They're trying to cover up. Police cover a blue cover up. I want to say a blue cover up. And, you know, if you got blue, you got protection. In Chicago, 80-year-old man got killed because he had a shotgun. Now, he didn't, he, the, 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 what's going on throughout this country? People marching, protesting. People are going to march in 2015. More police are going to get killed if somebody don't set at the table and say, wait a minute, let's get this together. It's some officer they don't need to be on the force. It's some officer don't even need to be wearing a gun. How do they get a gun? How do they qualify to, to serve and protect the people? What I'm saying, the, the police uh, in Chicago probably be tech, probably they found him drunk on the expressway, but he probably been protecting, uh, uh, protecting citizens. So the police department, the in-house police department, got to clean up his act. It, it ain't going to be no justice and quality out in these streets till they stop killing black men and putting them in jail. These guys in jail, in prison, for something they didn't do because the police set them up and let them out. So what I'm saying this morning, in 2015, it's got to be some closure. And the closure come with with the police department all over America because blacks are being killed. And, and I ain't just saying that black men are being killed by white police. I don't know if Cooper Klan, but they look like it's a field day on black men in America. And it, what I'm saying, if you don't take time to see what the problem, the politician, Congress watching the president ain't got time, it's this stuff like happened in New York, going to happen in Chicago. It's going to keep happening. Because somebody sat down and said, wait a minute. Something ain't right. I seen this police kill a man, but he got all free. So 
citizens are killing citizens in America, and our government, our local government, is not saying anything. We might have to carry this fight all the way to the UN, bring it to the UN, or carry it over to Switzerland to the government see that there's something going on. So it's many things to do, and we'll do that. We'll take it to another level. And I, that's enough about that. And I'm saying to you, uh, get involved in your neighborhood and see if the cop ain't right, you get him, you get him out of there. You tell him to go to the commander, go to the mayor. And in here in Chicago, we know we have a mayor, not sensitive to the people in Chicago. We got a mayor in Chicago who laid off 3,000 teachers and workers and closed 75 to 80 schools down. He's not concerned about the people, and his day is running. We're going to get with somebody that's going to make a difference in our community, somebody that's going to cut off all these red light cameras and all of that's going on. We're going to get somebody to do that. So I'm looking for God to bless you on this first Sunday. I say, I say, I say, I'm praying for you, Sister Sarah, Regina, I'm praying for you, I'm praying for you, uh, Lois, I'm praying for you, and I want to let you know I'm also praying for you, uh, Brother Wayne, I'm praying for you, Brother Edward, I'm praying for you, Brother Frank, I'm praying for you, and I'm praying for you, Sister Hattie, I'm praying for you, John, Mississippi, and I'm praying for you that called me for prayer. God can do anything, but I want to bless you today. I want to share something with you. About 15 minutes and I'm through. I want to share something with you as we come to the altar to pray. Father God, we come into the altar to, to pray today. We come to open up the door in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as we ring the bell of love and happiness. And we invite the Spirit of God in our house, the Spirit of God in our churches. And we ask them for 20 15 to be a blessed year for you, and 2015 will work for you. And I want you to understand that sometimes we need what belongs to us. You know, in the story of the prodigal son, he worked in and out, and he said, and it's the, the most genuine love story and spiritual story ever been told. I know John three sixteen for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son. But look at a greater love story. Father and son. Son said, Daddy, give me what falls to me and let me go out into the world. And I want to say to you tonight, uh, to you this morning, as I look, I want to honor uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, Dr. Ray David Atkin. I want to honor also uh, Malcolm X. I want to honor those that have came on before us and worked in this house, worked in this house called America, have built this country by our backs in the sugarcane field. We have built it in the, uh, we have built this country, the rails, we have built this country in the hospital. We, we have built, our ancestors have built this country, and they, we have built it with our bare hands. They brought us from slavery. And we still, we are standing, I'm standing right now on the back of my great-great-grandfather. I'm standing on the back of my great-great-grandmother. And I'm, I'm glad to stand on the back of Carrie, to stand on the back of Rosie, to stand on the back of Dan, to stand on the back of Frank. I'm standing on the back of Francis. I'm standing on the back of my ancestors. As I stand, I want you to see me now as I'm getting out to the world. It's a way to see the death. The gift of God eternal. I want you to know this morning, every door that closed will be open up for you. I want you to know this morning, God got your number. God will bless you. I want you to get ready. And I want to tell this story for about five minutes. And I want to share this story with you. This story needs to be told. And I want to tell the story because it's important to tell the story to you. And, and the prodigal son, the most greatest love story ever been told. And, and, and this is what happened. He said, Father, give me what belongs to me and let me go out into the world. 
Mind you, he had worked with his father. He had been there. And it mind me of the slave that saying, America, give me what you owe me and let me go out and start. I'm talking about reparation this morning. I'm talking about 2015, we should have our money that our ancestors worked for. And I just hope America don't be a given like the prodigal son. The, we are the prodigal son. We are asking for reparation. Just give us our due and let us go out into the world and see what we can discover. Being a good daddy, you'll take a back. But being a good son, if you go out and work, we have built America. We have built it east, west, north, and south. So we have built this country. So we should have our just due. I wish somebody pray with me this morning. As the prodigal son left out, his father, I want to deal with his father, obey God. His father didn't ask no question. He gave him what fall to him. Sometimes you need to know what fall to you. You need to know what you need to do to be healed, to be delivered. And I want to say to you this morning, on this first Sunday, all is well. I want to say to you this first Sunday, God will mash your blood. I'm praying for you, Sister Geneva. I'm praying for you, Sister Deborah. And I'm praying for every telephone call, every letter. Essie, I'm praying for you. Henry, I'm praying for you. Sherry, I'm praying for you. Wherever you might be, I'm reaching out praying for you at this hour. I want you to know God is able do anything but fail. And I want you to know God will open up that door that been pushing God will open up that door for you. And as that door, God will heal your body. I want you to understand the healing of God will help you. As I pray for you and you, I want you to call me. So Bishop, I need a spe I got the Ark of the Covenant for this year. I'm milling out for some people. I said, Bishop, I need the Ark of the Covenant for my house for divine protection. And I want to let you know Things going to work for you, young lady. All is well. The new house, the new car. Things that you asking God to do for you, He's going to do it for you. I feel to. I feel this morning on this first Sunday. I feel motivated that God's going to bless in the north, east, south, and west. And I just want you to hold on. I'm getting revelation knowledge. I'm getting revelation knowledge. Somebody being healed in the stomach area, and somebody got the flu. And as I pray for you, God says he's going to heal that swollen cancer. God says he's going to heal that gallstone. God says he's going to heal that tumor. God told me to tell you he's going to heal that cataract today. This is your year. This is your season to be blessed. God says your healing is coming. And I want to let you know as I, as, I, as I get ready to send you the Ark of the Covenant, I want you to put it up on your wall. I want you to push up where it be a divine protection of the Archangel Michael right here. The angel Gabriel is the angel on shift this year. And I'm glad to meet Gabriel, that angel. I'm going to send the angel right here to your house to heal you. Get up. I'm moving in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God will open up a door for you. I want you to get ready for God to bless you this morning. I want you to get ready. For God to open up a door for you this morning. As I pray, God's going to release the angel. God's going to release the power of the saints. I want to thank God for Armin Ra. I want to thank God for the saints. I want to thank God for the presence of the angels this morning. I want to thank God for you and all the saints, all the prophets of God. I want to give thanks to you for us being here. Armin Ra, which is the God of the universe. And all the saints that pray night and day, and all the angels of two and four, and all the prophets that God has sent in this time for you and me. And I want you to get ready this morning and claim your healing. I want you to claim your new car. I want you to claim your home. I'm praying for you, Sister Mary Hawkins in Detroit. I'm praying for you, Sister Tina. I'm praying for you, Dr. Christian. Jimmy in Chicago, I'm praying for you. Ralph, I'm praying for you. Tommy, I'm praying for you. Those that ask me to pray 
I'm praying for at this hour. Hattie, I'm praying for you. Hattie Patterson, I'm praying for you. The whole Patterson family, I'm praying for. And I want to let you know, God got your back. I want you to know God is God, and he's the real God. And I'm praying for all them in Berea, them that lost loved ones, those that are, uh, there's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal this morning. And I want you to get ready for God to bless you. I want you to get ready. Right now when I pray, I want you to get your tithes together, offering and send it to DustyDayAbrahamYellowSite.com and go to my homepage and say, Bishop, I'm sending a seed for the first of the year. I'm seeding to the ministry. I'm seeding to the radio ministry. I'm seeding to the, the TV ministry. I'm seeding to help uh, help go what we need to go. But as I pray for you at this hour, on this first Sunday of the year, 2015, look at somebody say, all is well. Look, lift your hands up and say, I got it. God gave it to me, and I'm going to keep it. I want to let you know as I pray, give an honor to all the prophets and all the saints of God. Give an honor to all the angels of God and you. Through the power of Om and Ra, I pray, most holy Om and Ra, the power of the God of the universe, we come at this hour to touch and heal right now. We come and ring the bell for the spirit of Amun Ra to come to your house. We ring the bell for the healing to come in your family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I say, I say, I say. We come this morning for you to get healed. We come for you to have joy. We come for every door to open up for you. I want you to call me. I got a word for you. I, I got a feeling that somebody been having problems under their liver, and as I pray, God, we're going to heal. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I bless you to heal right now. Father God, open that every door. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Good God, move right now in the name of Jesus. I feel swear, I feel God that's moving the financial blessing you need God to give it to you. The yoke of God is breaking the yoke for you as I speak right now. And I want you to know that God can do anything to fail, and I want you to stand tall to know that God can heal your body and your mind. I want to let you know God's going to break that yoke for you. And I want to let you know God is able to do anything for Whatever you need, God got whatever you want. And I want to tell you at this hour, I'm praying for you, Sister Janice. I'm praying for you, Sister Robin. I'm praying for you, Sister Nita. I'm also praying for you, Marcella, Rosemary, Marie. I'm praying for you. Those that call me for special prayer, and I want you to know God is making a difference. I'm praying for that family in the reed, can't find the God. I'm praying for all those aging people that lost loved ones in the plane. I'm going to pray special for them and pray that all the families that lost because of the devil. Freaking out that stuff you can do is they'll soon be cut down. I want you to know this first Sunday, God got your back. I want you to name it and claim it. I want you to claim your healing, claim your success, claim what God got for you today. And if you claim it, God will bless you. If you ask God, he'll open the door for you. And it, whatever you need, God got what you want, God got. And I want to let you know when I lift this all up and pray, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, I lift this holy oil up for anointing. And Father God, as I lift it up to those that need healing, as I pull a little oil on my hand, I'm going to go spiritual. And, and as I uh, concentrate it, and as I lift it up and rub it, and as I lift my hands to you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, just lift your hands up right there. I, I see a healing coming through the hand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray for that cancer right now. I pray for that high blood. I pray for that mixed condition right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your healing right now. Father God, touch the cataract. Touch the hearing. Touch the throat. Touch the legs, the swelling. Oh God, right now, Amon Ra, the God of the universe, Allah, the one God, the one baptism. Father God, touch here on this first Sunday. 
Let the healings take place in the name of the Father. The Son, I lift my hands up to you. I surrender all to you, which is Amun Ra, the God of the universe. There's no other God but Amun Ra. That's one God, one faith, one baptism. I lift my hand up to the saints that pray night and day. I lift my hand up to the angels that travel night and day. I do right now, in the power of the Almighty God, invoke and call Archangel Raphael to go to that home, go to that place, heal. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I claim cataracts being healed. I claim tumors being healed. Eyesight being healed. Cancer being healed. High blood, low blood. Heart condition. Sugar strokes are being healed as I lift my hands up. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Amun Ra, which is the God of old, the God that walked the aisle, I call on you now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the great God, Amun Ra, who is a man, a man, a man. God bless you. I thank you for that. I want to let you know I'm praying for you, Dr. Alexander, at Union Baptist Church. Marlene, I'll be over there. And I want to thank Dr. Dick Coleman at 1235 West 59th on Mount Sinai. Dr. Trick, I'll be over there. Then I'll be at House of Prayer, where the Prophet, Prophet L.K. Johnson, is the Prophet in the Spirit. And I'll be over there at, at, at House of Prayer. Pastor there with the House of Prayer down in. Monroe, Louisiana, we're praying for you. And also we're praying for Pastor Adam, who's down in Greenville, Mississippi, and also in Indianapolis, Minnesota. We're praying for you. We're praying for Sister Bright Star, who have the Ministry of Healing, the Ministry of Dietitian, we're praying for them. We're praying for you, you and me, wherever you might be. God's gonna make a difference this year. And I'm glad to come to you. I want you to know. Keep praying, keep thinking, for God said all is well. And whatever you need, God got what you want, God got. And I want to tell you, it, it can rain, it can snow. God is in control. God is in control of the weather. And my prophecy is storms back to back. My prophecy is earthquakes in Denver, earthquakes out in California, earthquakes in the Midwest, earthquakes over in Texas. God is trying to shake things up to let you know that he's God and he's God by himself. God bless you. Get ready for God to do something for you. I want you to I want you to get ready for God to open a door for you. Get ready for God to bless you. Get ready for God as I come to the east with all the pyramids. When I come to the east, Amun Ra, which is the God of the universe, is the the, the only God. Amun Ra is the only God. It's the real God. He's the God of our ancestors. And I come to Amun Ra this morning for healing and deliverance. I come to the God of the universe, and his name is Amun Ra. I just want you to know that. And when we go to him, he's going to heal. He's going to live. He's going to give life to, to the crop. He's going to give life to man. He'll give life to beasts. He's going to give life to the universe. And I want to let you know I'm praying for you and you. God bless you. Stay blessed. Don't forget, our services. Don't forget on Block Talk Radio on Mondays, Martin Luther King Speaks. And don't forget Tuesday, Crossing Over to Ancestry. And don't forget Wednesday, from uh, Wednesday, Bible class. Thursday, Meditation to the Bible. On Friday, we're talking about uh, the trillion dollar flow. And on Saturdays, Health. Sunday, here on Block Talk Radio uh, with the bishop, and we're talking about many issues. We're talking about healing, delivery. We're talking about men, men and women walking with God. We're talking about women that's, that's walking with God. We're talking about men that gave their life to God. Yes, God can take you off a of dope, alcohol, drug. God, and I'm going to pray for them that are addicted, those addicted on pain pills, those addicted on drugs, and never seen those that are addicted and you've been addicted for a minute. But the one prayer this year is going to take care of that. And I pray, I'm going to tell you, it's done. When I pray, it's over with. And as I pray, I want to pray that you, if you've got a condition, say you take alcohol, you're alcoholic. Say that you're taking painkillers or you're taking sleeping pills 
or you're taking a, a, any kind of drug where you're sniffing glue or you can't rest and you have schizophrenic personality. I'm going to pray for that. Father God, Amon Ra, come uh, this morning to curse and rebuke every addiction that have the Almighty God of the universe. I rebuke the condition, that demon of addiction right now. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I move that cancer condition. I move that high blood condition, that condition of drugs that got in the body. I'm asking you to clear that body up in the power of the Almighty God this morning. Touch, heal, and deliver right now. I know he's able to do what he said he was going to do. He's able to open up every door. I just hear a song in my heart, soon and very soon. We're going to see the king. I just hear that in my spirit. Soon and very soon, we're going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just feel that that right now, I, that drug addiction is gone. That alcohol addiction is gone. That world condition is gone. Shoo, shoo, I'm praying for you, Rome. Shoo, it's gone right now. Need, I'm praying for you. Shoo, Alberta, I'm praying for you. That is gone right now. I see the healing. The healing of that body, that that lungs open up, that heart artery, that heart artery being healed right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Almighty God, every door that been closed is open up. As I walk with you this morning, as I walk through the corridor of healing, as I walk down the Nile, I walk in, in Egypt and Africa. God is able, God has brought us from the east and brought us to the west, the land of the west. You look in back in Egypt, it's not in Egypt, it's in the west. It's in New York, it's in Chicago, it's in Minnesota, it's in St. Paul, it's in Detroit, it's in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Louisiana, Texas. God has brought us to a new world. God has brought us to stand and declare his name, declare holiness, declare the power of God in your life. I want to let you know when I invoke this spirit, mm, I'm invoking that spirit of healing. I'm invoking that spirit of meditate, take a deep breath. I'm, moving, I'm, I'm speaking to that cancer, leave. I'm speaking to the high blood, leave. I'm speaking to worry, leave. I'm speaking to pain, leave. Addiction spirit, leave. Worry spirit, leave. In the name of on this first Sunday, I will beat every negative spirit. Can't you feel it? When I get you set a glass of water, and you drink that water, that stuff the stomach, that poison going to leave your system. I call on the spirit, the seven African spirit, to go forward. I call on the saints to go forward. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amon Ra, Amon Ra, Ashe, 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 God bless you. I want you to stay blessed. I want you to stay anointed. And I want you to know God got everything that you need. I feel that the breakthrough is coming to Detroit. I feel the breakthrough is coming to Chicago. I feel the change in the atmosphere. I see a move in the atmosphere. And it's moving so powerful that it's going to be a door open up for me and you. So get ready for God to do anything but fear. There's no fear. God. Glory, hallelujah. I just want you to claim your healing this morning and 
claim your deliverance and to claim that God can do anything but fear. There's no failure in God. And I just want to shout victory to you today. I want to shout breakthrough for you today. Now, it might be snowing on the inside, but it's warm all the way around. And I want to pray especially for you. I want to thank you, Brother Berto. I want to thank those over at the temple. I'll be over at the temple on Milwaukee praying and letting God do something for you. The Spirit of God is real. The Spirit of God is telling me all this well. And I want to work with you this morning. Let the Spirit of God work on you. Because the Spirit of God is working on this first Sunday for every one of you to be blessed. The Spirit of God is opening up doors for you to overcome your sickness, overcome your pain. And I want you to know that God is able to do anything with you. Just don't let God fail. Because God will open a door for you every time. God will open up that door of spiritual gift. God will open that door for you. And everyone that comes, God will bless you. Get ready for a door to open up for you. Get ready for God to bless you. Get ready for God to clear your thing. Get ready for God to open up that special door for you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I see cleansing for you. And I want to tell you, from Regina, I'm praying for you all as well. Lois, I'm praying for you. Uh, SD, I'm praying for you. And I'm praying for you, you, and you. Those that haven't called me, those that will call me, I'm praying for you. Mirka, I'm praying for you. The Lord, I'm praying for you. Uh, I want Denise, I'm praying for you. And I want to tell you, Sam, I'm praying for you. And I want you to know that's no sorrow on the day and cannot heal. And I want to let you know that God will bless you and God will open door for you. I thank you. I thank you, 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 and you. And I want you to listen for God to bless you. I want you to read Psalms 119, East, West, North, and South. I want you to read Matthew 6 and 33, 6, first of King, God, and all his righteous. So I'm telling you, the greatest love story I ever heard was the Father and the Son. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten kind of son. And the second was the prodigal son. When the son said, Daddy, give me first, I mean, give me my reparation and let me go. Because I want to see the world. And I think we, as black people, saying, pay us what you owe us, America. I have answered that slave, give us what you owe us. And let us do what we need to do. God bless you. God keep you. Love you. And continue to pray for you. And you pray for me. I'm glad to come into your home, wherever you might be, at your downloads in your college. I'm glad to come in. And I just want to be your bishop that touch you. I want to let you know, as Dr. Coleman said, there's more ants than elephants. And I'm an ant. I'm going to stay with the ants. I'm going to stay with you. God bless you till we meet again.